which ABC first told you about last year surrounding a local paralyzed Independence High School football coach, Tyler Schilhobel, on a United Airlines flight. He said he had no choice but to scoot on his bottom all the way off his United Airlines flight because the airline failed to provide him an aisle chair. Well, now United Airlines back in the spotlight, this time for claims of racial discrimination. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper caught the exclusive interview with actor Nathan Davis Jr., who says he was humiliated on a United flight back in January and now wants to see change. Yeah, Nathan Davis Jr. has more than 8.5 social media followers, and he's well known for his roles in hit movies and TV shows like Criminal Minds, the movie Detroit, Glee, and many more. But when I had a chance to sit down with him, he told me none of that mattered after a flight attendant chose to racially profile him on a flight and accuse him of having a gun. Nathan Davis Jr. says it was this moment captured on video on his United Airlines video on his United Airlines flight that would reshape his life forever. See you later. Oh, I have a gun? That's crazy. Wow. You heard what she said? I have a gun. That's crazy. In the video shared with 23 ABC News, you can see Davis walking off the flight, and then you can hear the flight attendant accuse Davis of having a gun in front of all of the United Airlines passengers and staff. And I never felt like a situation like that would happen to me. In an exclusive on-camera interview, with 23 ABC News, Davis, who has been featured in TV shows like Criminal Minds and Glee, and even booked a national campaign singing alongside Justin Timberlake, says he was heading to Nashville to perform for Canadian musician David Foster's daughter in December when the flight attendant seen in this video accused him of having his music too loud during taxing. And then she comes over and she's like, hey, your music, I, I, your music is loud, can you turn it down? So I'm like, okay, cool, I'll just turn it down. He says after that, he says after that, the couple sitting directly next to him told him they couldn't hear his music and that they believe the flight attendant was, quote, singling him out. And just a few minutes later... Then she comes again, and I, and I pause it. This time I pause it to see if she's, like, bothering me. And I pause it, and she comes over, and she just starts mocking me, like, can you hear me? That's your problem. He says the attendant became angry, picked up the attendant phone in the back of the plane, and that's when he began recording on his phone. He is literally calling a cops on me for listening to music. That's crazy. And my headphones, like, nobody can hear me at all. He says shortly after, the pilot announced to the entire plane they were turning the plane around to remove a passenger. Supervisors escorting him out. Davis greeted by the pilot. Oh, so they kicking me off the plane because I have my music on and my headphones and this guy right here is floating around. Moments after that video ends, Davis says the pilot assaulted him. His whole thing was, I don't care. Like, get off my plane. Like, I don't want you on my plane. Like, you, like I don't want you on my plane. Like, you have to leave. And I just start recording him and then he actually attacks me. You know, he jumps on my back. He's grabbing at my wrist, trying to grab my phone, and he does it twice. Davis and his attorney filing a civil lawsuit in U.S. federal court Tuesday, seeking $10 million in damages for racial discrimination, assault, negligent hiring, and false imprisonment. Davis calling it a dehumanizing and traumatizing experience that many are now protesting nationwide in light of the death of George Floyd. When they say, oh, he has a gun, you know, and for her to just say that, it's just like... She just didn't care about my life. Davis hoping his story sparks change in flight policies, furthers company racial education, motivates others to say something if they see discriminatory acts that can lead to violence, and that it inspires everyone to think before they act. I would tell her to think about the consequences and the choices that she made, to really think about that. You know, because the position and the power that you have, your words can really affect somebody else's life.